and we had Hugh on the line, and we were going to bring Hugh back. Hugh, welcome back to the show. All right. Wanted to make sure yeah, that I, I had I'd like you. To find out. I'm going to give the yeah, background like on to, uh, what you had just real quickly. A 2010 Volvo okay. S80, and you, uh, your brakes feel normal. Anti-lock brake light come on, and you were told roughly three thousand dollars to repair it, mainly because. And I'm assuming that's the valve assembly, which is a uh, inexpensive part of the brake system. All that sound right? Yes, I think that's right. Okay, all right. What? Uh, and your question was, will it be okay to drive? Well. Cars went, uh, what year well, did I they have do it? another question. Oh, sure. I'm ready. Uh, I, I like to know also from Mr. Hawkins, is it, does it make sense to spend this kind of money, $3,000 on a car that's about eight or nine, 000, worth about eight or $9,000? Uh, I think so. Yes, sir. How many miles on your car? Oh, it's hardly any miles. Maybe twenty nine hundred or twenty nine thousand. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, you, drives it. You, 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 ever drives you, it. you definitely. Uh, nobody wants to spend three thousand dollars, but uh, absolutely, you could. You can't even get to replace that car. Mm-hmm. You'd spend thirty thousand or more for something equal to that. Mm-hmm. So, if that, I hope that makes you feel better. I, I've got one thing to ask you. This is my <clears throat> redneck. Uh, way to check the abs brakes and you got to have a, a good heart to do this so uh get on a back road or in a parking lot and test them a little sandy area yeah yeah good yeah a little bit sandy uh, yeah uh, you know get up a little 25 30 miles an hour and slam on the brakes but if gonna, the light is on high probability they're not going to activate right. But one thing I will say uh, is along the same lines of what you're saying, mm-hmm. uh, I wouldn't just automatically go spend the $3,000 on the vehicle uh, because sometimes, not every time, but sometimes you have some alternatives. For instance, we've had vehicles that come in and they would have an anti-lock brake issue, valve assembly bad, very expensive part. And there have been cases to where we've been able to find some of those parts at other sources, maybe mm-hmm. like O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right. Uh, or you, or, or there may be other companies that may make an aftermarket part that can be much, much cheaper. And I have had a few occasions. Of course, there's always some risk in doing this because you may put it on and it may have a problem uh, right away or a problem later on down the road. It's a used part. We right. have used to use uh, some uh, used anti-lock brake valve assemblies. Now, I would never want to use a used anti uh, used brake master cylinder or any other hydraulic component. But we have uh, we have had some we had uh, good success with the used ones that we got. It's not my favorite option though, uh, because there's risk involved. Uh, but I guess what I'm saying is you may. Yeah, I don't uh, think I want to do that. Okay. Well, yeah. the. The three thousand would be not a used one. I wouldn't either uh, on on my car. But uh, but again, you, there's some other maybe some other options available. But if not, uh, the if you plan to keep the vehicle, just twenty nine thousand miles, just like Philip mentioned. Right. Yeah, I lean toward it being uh, it, it it being a, a reasonable price to pay for a vehicle. Because to find you talking, if you was to get another vehicle, that wouldn't be a uh, a large number of payments <laughs> on another right. one. So, yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I tell you what, my wife and I are probably not going to keep this. Well, we're probably not going to be driving too much in the net for, for maybe five or six years. After mm-hmm. five or six years, we're, we're getting up in age. Hugh, I've heard so, people say that before. Yeah, that's a little yeah, older. Twenty years later, they, you yeah, run into weird, them. They don't want out two more <laughs> yeah, cars. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So, so I wouldn't say that, but still, I think it's a good option for you repairing. That sounds like a good vehicle. Uh, Twenty nine thousand miles. If you well, do, well, sell Hugh, it, give if me it a makes call. it makes you feel better, if if you went to trade it in or if you sold tried to sell it to somebody, they're going to knock off fifteen hundred to two thousand in the value because they're going to assume the worst. Yeah. So, the so you're not throwing your money oh, yeah, away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 